sales video. This video is how you can create a sales order from a restlet or actually from any, any type of script in NetSuite. So here I have a template, a restlet template is blank. As you can see, as a Git and the basic HTTP calls for a REST API. And as you can see here on the post, I have a function here, I'm calling a function. So I'm gonna post using a Postman. I'm sure a lot of you know how to use that. So if you post a JSON in here with the content type, uh, as you can see here in the notes, you must submit it as content type uh, as JSON, application slash JSON for this to work. So NetSuite is gonna read it, give it back to you here in this function, the body of the post. And then here we go how you can create a sales order really easy. So here's the, uh, the template for it. There's, it has basic fields that you can set, but the main one is to create it and the type it's a sales order. And obviously you can create a diff different type, but in this case, we're creating a sales order. We're gonna be doing it dynamic fields and we're initializing basically with an entity, with a customer. So here's where you type in your customer number or ID. You pass it on there. So now the next thing to do is basically just to set fields. Like for example, I wanna set the transaction date. So here you need to set uh, the field ID and then your value. So it's pretty simple. The next thing that I wanna set, which is uh, sales order, you, it needs to know where you're gonna ship it to, the ship shipping address. So that's a, you need to get the sub record and then with this sub record on hand, you can start setting the fields, same way as the, as the sales order body. And if you continue down, uh, obviously this, you need to replace these values with your own data. But then if you go down, then you go down to adding the items. So the first thing you need to do is uh, you're gonna pull and say, well, I wanna create a, a new line. And okay, where's the lines we're gonna be doing is we're gonna look through items. So here we're just pretending that the body that we got from the post as a field or an array with items. And we're pretending here that we're looping through the items and for each item, we're gonna set, we're gonna set a new line basically for, for the line. So we're gonna get the ID of item, that's the field that I want, the sublist and the field ID, and my internal ID for NetSuite. So here is the internal ID. That's what you need to pass here. You cannot pass the name of the file of your SKU. So if your skew is some character, this is not gonna work. It needs to be the internal ID. So everybody's ID is gonna be different. So that's where you pass it on. Then you keep doing the same thing basically, but in this case, we're gonna be doing the quantity. So our item will have a quantity. This is something I just, I can, it depends on what your data says, quantity or order be anything here but it's your quantity and then the price now here if you have special pricing on your net suite then this might change but if you're doing custom pricing then you need to use negative one for your price <clears throat> and then for your rate that's where the price actually is gonna come in it's gonna uh, looks like it's a mistake but that's how it works Set your price to negative one, and then your rate is the actual price value. That's where you type in your price value. And then once you're done setting all your fields, if you have custom fields, you can add it in this section. Once you're done, then you commit that line. And then we start, and then the loop comes back all over again, and that's the same thing. And then to finish it off, we have a try uh, catch block here. And here what we're saying is, okay, the object that we have, let's save it and don't ignore mandatory fields. Mandatory fields, ignore it, false. So 
we're gonna stick to it and then you can set it to true too but I'm gonna in this case it just false and then just log to your um, system log for NetSuite and you can say record save with ID blah 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 and then that's gonna be your internal ID so it's gonna be your sales order internal ID and then if you want you can return the ID if not something happens just return zero so that's what I have here so if you were to run this we could say var sales order ID equals that and here when you run it if sales order ID is greater than zero because that means that the order was created then you could you could log it and do other things uh, source order and then source order ID this is just something else if we got zero else then we can say you know, just fail something like that but the whole point of this video is that how you can create a sales order in NetSuite using Suite Script. That's the whole point of this video. And the code is right here. I'm going to have a, a GitHub link for you so you can copy and paste this and try it on your own NetSuite account. So if you have any questions about how to create a NetSuite order, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to help you the best that I can. Okay, thank you for watching.